What's going on, HG Cruisers? Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday, we got some news from Carnival Cruise Lines and at the very last moment possible regarding the CDC's uh, voluntary recommendations, guidelines, and whether they are going to opt in or not. Now, if you didn't know, February 18th was the deadline for any cruise lines to opt into the CDC's voluntary program. If they choose to opt in, they have to basically follow the recommended guidelines that the CDC says. And if they choose not to opt in, then basically they get to do their own thing, make their own decisions as a company, and what they feel is best for them based off of their knowledge not going off of what the CDC says. So if they opt in, they're kind of still out of control of the CDC, which ended January 15th, and not as much leeway as if they opted out and did their own thing. And as of two days ago, zero cruise lines had opted in. So yesterday, Carnival made their announcement at the very last minute of basically if they're going to opt in or out. Now, uh, with this update, when I read the headline, I was a little skeptical at what this means for the future of cruising with Carnival, at least in the next couple months. Uh, but after reading past the headline and reading the article, there's uh, some good things coming. And I want to go over all of those. Um, so the topics we're going to talk about, obviously, that headline. Um, then we're going to break into the first thing, which is the mask mandate update uh, that they are uh, going to be putting in effect, as well as the vaccine update, uh, the vaccine mandate update, and lastly, some flexible testing uh, prior to embarkation uh, for some of you. It's not going to be for all of you, but some of you are going to have more flexibility when it comes to that pre-embarkation testing, which is exciting news. Now, I do want to apologize because this news came out yesterday, and I'm about a day late at the news, and that is just because I was at work yesterday, and I didn't get off till 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30. Actually, yeah, I clocked out about 3.30, and then I had to run and pick up some money, uh, and then by the time I got home, it was like 4.30, almost 5 o'clock, and I had to take a quick bite before heading to bed. And yeah, I was a zombie when I got home. So needless to say, filming at that point, it, either way, it would have came out today and late because I was just at work. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into today's episode. Okay, H2 Cruise. Now, before I get into the news, I do want to show you something exciting, at least something I'm excited about. Uh, May, our group cruise that we're doing, the H3 Cruisers Cruise, which is May uh, 30th on Carnival Radiance. If you're interested in booking, just message me on Facebook at H3 Family Travel. Search it, send me a message. I'll get you the group rates, all that. Uh, but we do have a group cruise. And for two of the kids, it is their very first cruise ever. They've never been on a cruise. So yesterday, we were at Walmart. And I ran into some luggage tags, and I was super excited about it. We got us all new luggage tags, but for Patrick, we got him a little gamer. Uh, game over, gamer, luggage tag. I guess you could say game over because he ain't playing any games on the cruise unless he's in uh, Camp Ocean. But uh, he's going to be enjoying the cruise. But he's got a little gamer tag I'm excited about. And then for Savannah and Emma, we have these tags. One says Bon Voyage, one says Explore. And then lastly, for Sandra and I, we got ourselves... Uh, tags that say travel. They're just little black tags. You know, obviously write your information on the back. I was pretty excited. I just wanted to show you guys. Now, lastly, before I jump into all the exciting information coming from yesterday's update, I do want to take a moment. If you are new to the channel, have never seen my videos before or the cruise vlogs or anything from us, or you just haven't done so yet and you've seen us before, but you haven't done so, please be sure to smash that subscribe button below as well as the alert notification. One, not only will you be getting notified whenever we upload news uh, regarding any of the cruise lines or any cruise logs from our cruise and get to see all that good, or good stuff or even cabin tours or ship tours, but you're also going to be helping us towards our goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. We can't do it without you. And the best part is that subscribe button below is 100% free to hit it. So just, just click it and that's it. We're moving on now. I won't talk about that anymore this episode. Or maybe at the end. We'll talk about it in the outro. Just a quick reminder at the outro. But on to the news. The headline. Let's start with the headline. Uh, as you guys know, yesterday was the deadline uh, for any cruise line to opt into the CDC's recommended guidelines. Now, uh, like I said in the intro, if they chose not to, they could kind of do their own thing. But if they chose to opt in, they kind of have to follow the guidelines that the CDC puts. It basically 
put some control back into the CDC, which we got rid of that January 15th. And the headline basically said, Carnival has opted in. And I went, why? Why? Why, why can't you make your own decisions? You do things that you know is going to work not only for the company, but for the, the clientele and everything like that. And you do it safe, but make the right decisions on your own. Why do we need guidelines? from a CDC to follow. You can still follow those guidelines without being in it. Why do you have to opt in? See, that that's my thinking. Like, you can opt out and still pick and choose which ones to follow, but now they kind of got to follow them all. So, in that sense, I was a bit skeptical and worried. Now, when reading into it, they did have three updates. The first is the mask mandate update. And let's let's talk about the mask mandate. Starting March 1st on a Carnival Cruise Lines, you will no longer need to wear a mask, except in certain venues. And I'm guessing this is going to be more like the main theater or if you're in the Punchline or Comedy Club when there's a lot of people gathered around, you're going to have to wear masks in those venues. That is my guess. Uh, that's how it was for the Thanksgiving cruise before they enforced masks all over the ship again, like my Carnival Miracle cruise just a couple weeks ago on February 1st. We had to wear it all over the ship, but in Thanksgiving, we didn't except for venues. So we're going back to that setting where there's no masks on the ship except in certain venues, such as the theater or the punchline or comedy club, wherever that's held on the ship. So relax. Don't have to wear the mask as much anymore. That that's that's a plus. Uh, the second update is actually going to be regarding vaccine mandates. Now, the cruise lines are still enforcing the mask or or the not mask but vaccine mandates that is not changing in any way so to speak as far as if you are eligible to get the vaccine ages five and up you are still required to get it the difference now versus before is that any child under the age of five who can't get the vaccine because it's not eligible for children five and under or under the age of five so those children ages one to four are no longer calculated as part of the 95% uh, ratio because the cruise lines are cruising at 95% vaccinated. Children under five do not count in that number. So this is going to do two things. One, the children ages one or all the way up to the age of four no longer need an exemption. They are automatically exempted. You don't have to worry about, am I going to get my child exempted or not before the cruise? It's fine. If they're under the age of five, all you need is obviously the testing prior and that's it. Just like if you're vaccinated, they're treated the same as vaccinated. And this also means that they're most likely still gonna be able to get off the ship in ports, which before, you know, you had to do a bubbles tour. They are not calculated. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, basically they're treated as if they're vaccinated uh, under those, those rules. Um, I do think that they will still need a PCR test prior to embarkation rather than a rapid test, but at least you don't have to worry about the exemption. Ages five and up will still need an exemption if they are not vaccinated. But the good thing is those under the age of five do not count towards that 95%, which allows for more exemptions of those who are above the age of five. So that is a plus for those under five. And it's also a plus for those kids that are ages five to 12. It means that more exemptions can be uh, pushed out because the numbers are not calculated for those under five. So that is a plus. Now the last and final update. This is the uh, testing flexibility update. Now, if you have your vaccine, but you do not have a booster, even though you are eligible, this is not for you. This is for those who are fully up to date. You have your booster. If you are eligible, you have your booster, you're updated, all that stuff that fully vaccinated plus, as you may want to call it. So if you are fully vaccinated and up to date with the booster shots, you now have three days prior to the cruise to get your rapid test, not the two day window before. If your cruise was Saturday, you had to get your test done on Thursday or Friday or as late as Saturday, as long as you get your results back before you board. You could not take the test on Wednesday. Those who are unvaccinated have, have a PCR test that was within three days, but those that are vaccinated only have a two-day window. And that stressed a lot of people out because it's hard getting a test. Now, if you are fully up to date with the boosters, then you can have a three-day window. Now, remember, check to make sure you are updated and uh, up to date fully on that vaccine uh, with the booster if you want that third day. Now, again, if you are not up to date, you're still on a two-day window. 
but this helps because I think it will allow for better um, testing abilities even for those who are not up to date because those who are up to date will be able to get it the third day out before cruising and it, it might alleviate some of the stress around vaccine or not vaccine but uh the testing prior to cruising with that rapid test so that's about it i do want to take a moment to ask you guys to in, or go down to the comments below leave your comments let me know what you think about all three of these again a quick update we talked about the mask update no more masks starting march 1st except in certain venues children ages uh four and below will no longer need an exemption to cruise. They are automatically exempted and not counted into that 95% ratio, which is a plus, a big stress reliever, especially for uh, one of the families in our group cruise on uh, the Radiance who has a four-year-old who can't get vaccinated. So we were just talking about it yesterday. She's excited because I kind of said, I think things are gonna change before this announcement came out. And sure enough, they changed. So that's a big stress reliever there. Also more exemptions available for those older than five because of those under the age of five not being counted. And lastly, that flexibility. So leave your comments below. Let me know, do you think we're leaving or heading in the right direction? Do you think we're not? What do you think? Um, obviously, I know some of you wanna see the vaccine mandate completely gone. I think that the next step is going to be children over the ages of five, uh, not as strict on the vaccine mandate and slowly work over to older age groups. That is not going to be an overnight thing. It's, I hate to break it to you, but I have a feeling, at least for us adults, that vaccine is going to be required through the rest of 2022. Um, hopefully not much farther than that. It's still the beginning. It's only February. We still got 10 months down the road. Hopefully over the next 10 months, that vaccine mandate kind of disappears. Now, again, I know some of you are looking forward to that ending, and sadly not today, not anytime in the near future. And then I know some of you are not looking forward to it ending, but remember, the vaccine is up to you guys. Um, this is not a political channel. We don't talk politics. We do not put that in the comments. Uh, we're just here to give you the news and all that. So please keep the negativity, the arguments out of the comments because we're not going to stand for any arguing, arguing down in the comments. Uh, we all have our opinions then let's just enjoy our opinions. We have the right to our opinions. Now, with that said, again, guys, that's it. Leave your comments. And again, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button as well as the alert. Help us reach 10,000 subscribers. It is 100% free to do so. So just takes a second. Click, click, click. That's it. Done. Now, I'm out. I'll see you in the next vlog. Uh, hopefully, those uh, cruise vlogs from Carnival Miracle are coming soon. I got to get to editing. But first, tonight, I got to head to work. Um, I have Monday, Tuesday off, so hopefully I can get some editing done and start uploading those. I didn't film as much, so sadly, I don't think it's going to come out as good as I want to. I apologize in advance if those cruise logs are not as great as you would like or I would like. But I'm going to do my best in trying to edit them as best as I can. But that's it, guys. Until next time, hopefully soon, I'll see you on the Lido deck with you know two ice cream cones in your hand. Because... I know I'll have two ice cream cones when you see me. Anyways, that's it, guys. Take care.